Top 7 Sources of Thermal Pollution Pollution has many forms. Most of us think of it as air and noise pollution. We may not realize it, but thermal pollution is emerging as a major area of concern. Thermal pollution occurs when warm and polluted water from industries is discharged into nearby water bodies. During this process, the temperature of the water body used to discharge the warm water, rises. The discharged water also contains toxic elements that further damage the aquatic ecosystem. As the water temperature rises and more toxins are dissolved, the dissolved oxygen levels reduce. Dew is important for the survival of aquatic species. They become suffocated due to decreasing dew levels in the water bodies. It can lead to loss of life and a reduction in biodiversity. We need to realize that thermal pollution is real and fast, becoming a global problem. All the relevant stakeholders need to play an active role in addressing thermal pollution. Sources of thermal pollution There are many factors that directly or indirectly contribute to thermal pollution. Some of the most important sources of thermal pollution are as follows. 1. Manufacturing plants Manufacturing and power plants are the most significant contributors to thermal pollution. They are responsible for discharging significant levels of heat into nearby water bodies. These manufacturing units and power plants use water from nearby sources as a cooling agent. Once the water is used for cooling purposes, it becomes hot. The same warm and polluted water is then released to the nearby water bodies, which are usually also the source of water used. Most of these manufacturing units and power plants discharge water which is at least 10 degrees higher in temperature to the nearby water bodies. This creates a severe imbalance in the local aquatic ecosystem as the species find it difficult to adjust to the sudden hike in water temperature. 2. Discharge of industrial effluents Industrial effluents are another major culprit and contribute heavily to thermal pollution. These effluents originate from different sources like institutions, manufacturing units, nuclear units, etc. They discharge a lot of heat and heat-absorbing materials to the water bodies where they are released. Industrial effluents are discharged by industrial units and can negatively impact the aquatic ecosystem and species. Three. Domestic sewages Domestic sewages are generally released to the nearby water bodies. It is a common practice in many parts of the world. This may seem like a convenient solution for discharging sewage, but it has a drastic impact on the local ecology. In most cases, the domestic wastewater is released to the water bodies with minimal or no treatment. Sewage has a higher temperature than the water into which it is being discharged. This is due to the presence of organic waste. Inregulated release of domestic sewage into nearby water bodies can cause the death of many aquatic species and loss of biodiversity. 4. Strom runoff Storm runoff is another cause of thermal pollution. During summers, the roads and pavements in urban areas can become very hot. When there is a sudden storm or heavy downpour, the water falling on these roads and pavements can become hot too. The rainwater runoff absorbs this heat and is discharged into the nearest water body. This causes the temperature of the water body to increase and contributes to thermal pollution. 5. Deforestation Forest cover plays an essential role in maintaining the ecological balance. It helps to reflect and absorb the sun's rays and heat. It is because of forests only that our water bodies are protected from the sun's heat. Deforestation is on the rise and has become a rampant and disturbing global problem. Deforestation exposes the water bodies to the sun's heat directly. This increases water temperature and thus triggers thermal pollution. Deforestation also causes an increase in the greenhouse effect which contributes to global warming. 6. Soil erosion 
Most of us may not realize, but soil erosion can contribute to thermal pollution. Soil erosion leads to higher runoff. This causes more siltation and deposition of sediment in the water bodies. Higher accumulation of silt and sediment raises the water levels. It results in a greater surface area of the water body being exposed to sunlight. As a result, the water temperature rises, and thus thermal pollution takes place. 7. Natural factors Thermal pollution is not only a consequence of human activities and industrialization. Sometimes the forces of nature can also trigger it. Natural factors can also cause thermal pollution. There are natural phenomena like geothermal activities and active volcanoes that can lead to an increase in underground water temperature. This can cause the water temperature of underground water bodies to rise sharply. As the underground water body temperature rises, it sets in place thermal pollution.